Hello, is there anybody out here? But more recently, we heard of Native American mythology of a dear woman. Can you please tell me who you are now? Use the ovulus. I'm freaked out, man. The tripod's broken. Look. You busted the tripod too? We just want to give a big shout out to Don's Photo. They're actually running a promo right now on your next Canon purchase where if you spend $1,000 or more, you get $100 off by using Paranormies at checkout. Like we say always, they've been such great people to us. We love them over there. They're always constantly messaging us, making sure that you know we're okay we're, if we need anything else. So just as a huge thank you, if you, know, you're, you need a camera, just whether you're taking pictures at home or you are gonna start your YouTube journey, it's time to start today and go and get that $100 off with Don's and just let them know that, you know, we sent you over there by using the code. And I know for a fact you guys aren't gonna be disappointed when you're dealing with them. Their customer service is just phenomenal. So go check them out. This is check, just check. I'm gonna do the road. Yeah, so yeah. One more time. Check, check, one, two. Check, check, one, two, one, two. Check, 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 check. In the province of Manitoba, there are over 160,000 registered First Nations peoples as of spring 2021. Around 57.1 of these people live on reserves that are scattered around the province. The native people of North America have a culture that has always fascinated us, whether it be their stories of cryptids or paranormal events that they share with each other that are totally unique from the stories we heard growing up. But these are stories that have been passed down for hundreds or even thousands of years and have become so intertwined into their culture. Our home province of Manitoba has over 60 First Nations tribes which means we get exposed to all sorts of these stories. A lot of these strange and mysterious stories take place in northern Manitoba, places that you could see the strange and ominous northern lights in places like Churchill or Shamatawa. But every so often we hear one of these incredible stories trickling through the cracks of the ice rows that separates the northern from the southern part of the province. Breaching the gap between the more traditional native society in the north and the more modernized society here in the south. Recently, one of those stories that's made its way down here are the recent sightings of the deer woman. The unknown. What is it? Is it real? And what is it doing there? The deer woman is a spirit in Native American mythology whose qualities vary depending on the person that it comes in contact with. To women, children, and men who are respectful of women and children, the deer woman is associated with love. However, to the men, especially those who have harmed women and children, she is known to be very violent. She becomes a very vengeful and murderous spirit that lures men to their deaths deep in the woods. She appears as either a beautiful young woman with deer hooves, similar to a siren in Greek mythology, 
or simply as a deer. La Barrier Park is a place just south of Winnipeg that has become a hot spot for these sightings with over three happenings since the arrival of spring 2022. One story that really caught our attention was the story of a woman who was jogging around the trail of the park but stopped as she heard the sound of galloping deer hooves. The woman turned around to see what the noise could be, only to see a woman about 100 yards away from her, just off of the path and into the bush. However, this woman was not just standing there watching. The jogger observed this woman to be fiercely striking her head along the base of the tree. The woman became extremely uncomfortable and exited the forest as soon as she possibly could. When she got back to her car, she reported the incident to the police as a possible drug addict that may need help in the park. The police investigated the incident, but no further details came from it. An older incident, and it was one that put La Barrier Park on the radar for us many years ago, was the story of another jogger in 2015. On April 8, 2015, a woman was jogging through the park with her dog. But as her and her dog passed the second loop of the trail, they felt an unknown entity swish by them. She became instantly afraid as there were no other joggers on the path and there was no wind at the time. Her dog started barking fiercely and that's when she knew it was time to head back to the car and go home. When this woman reported the story to CBC, she also reported that she felt something swishing by her again on her way back to the car, only this time it was accompanied by the sound of children's laughter. Some of you old school Paranormies fans or Patreon members might already know that we have come to this park over a year ago and did a pure blind investigation just because we had heard that this park might be haunted. But with all these new reports of the Deer Woman and things started to point that she might be in this forest, we knew that we had to pay La Barrier Park another visit because we might be getting closer to what we were looking for the first time. This is check, just on check. The, I'm gonna do the road. Okay, two. Do it one more time. Check, check, one, two. Check, check, one, two, one, two. Check, 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 check. Check, 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 check. Yeah, it was terrifying. It's just creepy well, being in the- it was cold and there was just like weird noises coming from everywhere. Mm-hmm. It just felt like Blair Witch. <laughs> yeah, man, that, that's exactly what I feel when we come to this place. Just one deer by itself. Shine the light on it. It's weird that's just by itself. Oh yeah, that light's so much better than this thing. Oh, you know what? This is not where we wanted to go in. We're going go that way. Follow the trail a little bit more. I'm worried that my bike is gonna unplugging this shit. You'll have to watch for that. Is that eager there? Is that eager there?
Oh yeah, this is covered in water here. I can hear. <clears throat> it's been a while since we've been in here. It's been what, a year and a half? Something, yeah. Has it been a year and a half? A year, yeah, about, about that. I guess in winter would have been a year. Like December 2020 was when we were first in here. Hello, is there anybody out here? It's, it's you know what's strange? Is even though it's it was winter last time, it seems quieter this time. It does, it's more calm. Like there was more, almost more wildlife it seems. Last time, right? It's just more like strange noises that were like out of place. So far I'm just hearing like the regular, like summer wildlife. I'm gonna get... Dogs, hey? Which is weird, because yeah. there's nothing around here. Oh, I heard something. Is there anybody out here? What was that? It almost sounded like a cow. Hang on. I heard branches moving behind us. You did? I did, yeah. Can we get the obvious going? Okay. Hello, is there anybody out here? Hello, is there anybody out here? Who's that? Thing is, we're so deep in here, there could be anything like behind any tree. I know. Hello? <sighs> Still hasn't spit out a single word. Speak. What the hell what was, was that? What was that? It sounded like, like, there's it again. What is that? It's like really loud, like metal clanking on metal. It said speak right before that happened. Here, let's set that light up. It's super fucked. In this tree here too. We kept hearing this noise that was, it sounded like it was coming from the bridge. And to me at first, the first thing that went through my mind was maybe ice banging against the side of the bridge. But uh, when we did go back and look, there was no ice and the water was just glass. It was super still. So something was either hitting on the bridge or there was some kind of metal on metal noise coming from far away. Is there somebody in here with us? We're looking for a woman. If there's, we know, we know that there's a story of a spirit here, but we're looking for a hundred. We're looking for a deer woman. Is there anybody in this forest that knows of that story? If there's anybody in here with us, can you set off this device here? I don't know. That makes absolutely no sense. Well, what does that have to do with a, <clears throat> I don't know. a deer woman? It's still weird though. Last. Last. 
Is there a woman with the feet of a deer that comes by here? And she is she the spirit that haunts La Barrier Park? Or the story that we heard, there's two different stories or incidences that happened that we're trying to understand. And one of them was a woman was jogging here and she heard giggling of children as she felt something pass by her. But more recently, we heard of Native American mythology of a deer woman that was seen here. And we saw that deer coming in too. Just one deer by itself. This noise that we kept hearing sounded, I don't know, it sounded animalistic or it didn't, it didn't sound human. Is that eager that? It sounded very low groaning sound and then it would completely change to something high pitched. It was a never a consistent sound but you could tell it was coming from the same being. So there was one thought that was always in my mind and it was that deer we saw when we were first walking in and it was just one deer by itself. And I mean, there's been so many times where we drive to do dialogue and we see, we see deer all the time, but they're always in small packs of deer. And this time it, there was just one all by itself. And I tried to film it and get close enough, but it, it kind of took off and it just made me wonder, was it a deer or what, you know, was it something else? And Maybe it's a deer woman, I, I don't know, it's so hard to say. I know that's crazy to think, but with everything that was going on, it, 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 did, it did, you know, linger on my mind throughout the night if, you know, what if that was, you know, something that we were there to find. Jordan, what? come look at this. How long were we gone? I don't know, like... Oh, why? Because this camera says it's only been filming for three minutes. What? It's been filming for three minutes. That doesn't make any sense. We've been gone for a long time. So something stopped it? Did something stop and start it? So something stopped the camera and started filming again. It's impossible. There's no other way. Are you interested in our gear? Okay, you can touch it, it's fine. We just want to know who you are or what you are. Silent. And it didn't say it. Do you hear that? Do you hear it say it? Say what? Silent? It said City. It said silent? When did it say silent? I don't know. It, I didn't hear it. The word silent and give. I didn't hear either of those. So maybe. Still wrong. If you like playing with our gear over here, you can touch that too. It's called the K2 meter. It'll just light up. If you touch it, it'll be bright lights. Right now it's showing green. If you touch it, it might go to yellow, it might shine red. It won't hurt you. It'll just let us know that you're here. This is mind boggling why this thing, how this thing, there's like, you know what it reminds me of? Like we're in like a, have you ever seen the show? I can't remember what it's called. River or the river or something like the that. The river? 
Yeah, it's I think like you lent me like, that DVD a long time ago. Yeah, it's like it, it just keeps changing. It's like, does, did, it, did three minutes actually go by? You know what I mean? What do you mean? Like, in, you know what I mean? Like, it's it's hard to explain, but it's like, did, did, so, was, it, was it only three minutes, but did it, did it feel like, like longer us, to us? It was like an hour. Like, we were on like two separate like timelines or something like that. Yeah. Because that's really terrifying to think about. Why would it have stopped and then started? Hearing where it's coming. Well, yeah, in the, in the woods, it just sounds like it's coming from everywhere. It's bouncing off all the trees. And you can't really get it. Are you a threat to us? Because we're not a threat to you. We just want to talk. I'm not exactly sure how to explain the static noises. Um, it was a lot more frequent in this location than, I mean, the past, uh, the way the mics were cutting in and out like crazy. And, it, and it's not even that they were just cutting out. It was, you know, both cameras mics were cutting out at the same time. So it's, to me, it has to be the location itself. And it's not, you know, it's the paranormal nature that's going on there and nothing to do with our camera gear. Is there anybody here with us that would like to speak? Oh, it's something. If you can speak, that'd be amazing. Saturn. Saturn? It's an interesting one. That is an interesting one. Right now. Right now. That was very clear. Female voice too. Yeah. You can speak right now. Do you have anything to say? Hello. That was like such a clear right now, hey? Very clear. Very, very clear. Deal with. Deal with? Deal with? We? Yeah. And this thing said we right Deal after. with we? So it was more than one? Sounds like you said lady. A dear lady? Hi? Yeah. Hello? Are you the dear lady? I'm hearing all sorts of stuff behind us. Are you hearing that? I almost like, I it. Like I almost almost... like it more in the bush than, it, than I do out here. It's like, it's like I'm hearing the sound of a snake behind me. I'm hearing something. It's like the spirit box is like masking that sound. Exactly. You know? It's it, freaky. It's behind us. You hear that? It sounds like something Métis. Métis, I heard Maiden maybe. Is there something down this trail? Johnny heard something down here. Somebody back here? Oh, It's hard to tell if we're just speaking with like a regular spirit shadow. Can you do something to show us that you're here? You'll have to make a really loud noise. What's 
weird how it just, just cut out like that. Cut out completely. A lot of female voices, man. Had nothing on the KT so far. Do you have anything you want to say? Confirm or deny any of the rumors? Prayer. Ooh, Whoa, shit. what happened? A gene bug landed right in the fire. That is creepy. It's also so weird when they just like land right in front of you. I think he's dead. What was that? Oh my god, there's another one. Landed right on the camera. I heard another one too. Over there, it might have been the same one. Holy shit. Dude, they're everywhere. Ooh. Another one? <laughs> Prayer and then it's in yourself. Why is there words coming through that we're not hearing? I don't know. I don't really, I can't really make sense of them either. Prayer yourself. That one's still recording? Okay. That yeah. one's still recording? Was that vacant? Vacant. Holy shit, dude! Look, wait. The ovula said spin. Spin. Right when that happened. I wonder, I wonder if this was the spot where the oh, jogger lady got knocked down. <sighs> That's that same noise we heard. That was a much closer this time. Hello? You think I could be a person though? I have no idea. This thing stopped recording when it flew. It's weird that it would say spin. And then the camera spins around. Did it spin or did it? It fell. And you know it's f It what? didn't even stop recording when it hit the ground. It stopped Should recording it... after, 30 seconds later. Really? Can you please tell me who you are now? Use the ovulus. I'm freaked out, man. The tripod's broken. 
Look, it busted the tripod too. Where's the other parts? Oh, it came right off. Of yeah, the... man. Wow. It just popped straight off. Okay. Okay, maybe light in Get, the candles. You hear that? Here? Yeah. Maybe the candles were a bad idea. We were doing something we shouldn't, maybe? That's what I'm worried about. It's not even it's coming from over here. Hello? Okay. Uh. See something? Yeah. I'm gonna be honest. It looked like something. Oh. What was that? That came from in here, where it's completely that swampy. Freak me the <gasps> f out. I heard a f voice behind me. It's coming from all directions, man. Yeah, I think I might have to turn the light on. What is yeah, that? Yeah, that sounds like a screaming noise from over here. It's coming from in the water. Like this is all that's impossible. It's coming from in the water. Is that her, do you think? This is where we heard it from. There's no way this is all swamp, just water. <clears throat> Hello? Yeah, my heart's racing. Where is it coming from? It's coming from in the water. My hands are shaking really bad. Can you get the parabolic? I got let's, it. Yeah, let's run that and see if we can pick up that noise. More the headphones? Okay, that's super weird. Really? What? I'm hearing like a radio. A radio? A radio. <gasps> no way. Holy. Something just passed in front of our light. A big shadow just walked in front of our light because oh. I'm freaked out man what kind of what do you mean a radio like holy shit the light just shut off we're gonna be out here without lights, man. What happened to the other? Oh, it's out there. Should we grab it? <gasps> oh. What was that? I just bumped it with my finger. Oh, man, that's it was scary. really loud.
is this on this tree? Look at this. What is it? A face? Oh, what is that? A face? Oh, that's so creepy. <laughs> that is fucked. That's terrifying. You know who put this face here? Yeah, let's run a test here. Right here? Yeah, let's set up the light so it's not shining right in our faces. Okay. Did spike a little bit. This area feels really weird. And you know what's weird is you even mentioned you're like coming this area. Yeah, you it was like from this kind of spot where I started feeling something. Just a creepy feeling coming from over here. <laughs> 